Hello friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks! Prince Harry's memoir and the continuous toxicity of the royal family rupture could mark the beginning of the end of the monarchy, a biographer of King Charles has suggested. The claims included in Prince Harry's memoir, in particular, the focus on personality clashes, have the potential to mark the beginning of the end of the monarchy, according to a royal biographer. The book's release is not just a celebrity knockabout story, Catherine Mayer warned, arguing that the status of a significant institution of state is ultimately at stake. Its peril exacerbated by the layers of secrecy and deception surrounding the royals. A wave of leaked extracts of the Duke of Sussex's book spare days ahead of its publication, fueled by its accidental early release in Spain, crashed over Buckingham Palace this week, laying bare the scale of discontent at the heart of the royal family in often excruciating detail. The ongoing fallout from the rift is possibly something that will mark the beginning of the end of the monarchy. And that is what we should discuss, Miss Mayer, the author of 2015's The Heart of a King, told The Observer. Members of the firm, Miss Mayer added, have become our proxies for anger about racism, misogyny, and wealth. She also said, this is, after all, an institution that stands for inequality, so there are huge things at stake. If not addressed, the accusations of bullying, racism, and misogyny, among others, made by Harry could potentially undermine the basis of consent by which the royal family retains in role in Britain, Miss Mayer added. Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, will be released worldwide tomorrow, however. Extracts from it have been circulating for almost a week after copies started to circulate in Spain. The arrival of Meghan Markle had initially helped the royals perform this role, galvanizing support from demographics who had never seen themselves in any way reflected by the royals suggested Miss Mayer, who is also co-founder of the Women's Equality Party. But the failure of that project has instead turned them into opponents of the monarchy, she said. Reports of a rift between Harry and William were first publicized by Vanity Fair in 2019. But Spare appears to hold little back in detailing the extent of his troubled relationship with his sibling, who at one point he reportedly describes as his arch-nemesis, the memoir, due on Monday, also reportedly details arguments between their spouses, first reported in British tabloids and then addressed by the Sussexes in their Oprah Winfrey interview in March 2021, when the apparently long gathering storm first truly broke into public view. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.